name is Jonathan. My name is Angeline. And my name's Paul, and we're Turning Point UK's work experiences. We're just in Peckham, going to ask some people about Sadiq Khan and what they think about his knife policies and if they work. Why do you think that kids nowadays carry around knives, and why do you think knife crime is such a prominent issue right now? I think personally it's the, the lifestyle. I think they carry it because they think the people who they consider their enemies carry it, so they're like, if, if he has it, I have it. If, like, if i got to do that to like, survive, whatever, like, I personally think it's insane to carry a knife, but do you know what I mean? Knife crime, other types of crime, how do you think it affects your area directly? Like, do, you have, do, you have young, do you have any young people to worry about, anything? Does it affect well, that's a highly charged question because I'm a teacher mm -hmm. and I work with special needs kids, so I'm very aware, especially teenagers, so I'm yeah. very aware of a lot of the kind of social issues, especially in South East London. Mm -hmm. So I'm aware that knife crime really does impact young people's lives. So, for example, in my school, where I work, um, over the last five years, uh, nine young people have died. Yeah, and at least half of that has been due to knife crime. Do you feel like stop and search is a valid way to stop crime or is it intrusive? To a certain extent, I think, uh, stop and search should be um, uh, increased. No one needs to worry about it. If, if they have uh, nothing to hide, then they shouldn't be you know, uh, worried about stop and search. What do you think um, about the crime in your area? Well, in my area, there's crime all over London. The way the situation is, the cutback on police and so on, they should have stop and search. And every police officer, during training, he should be trained to use a pepper spray and a taser. So what do you think about Sadiq Khan and what he's done for the city so far? Well, I don't know if he's done anything. What has he done for the city? <laughs> so what do you think about the, the chicken box? How now they're putting hashtag knife free on all the chicken boxes in the chicken stores? Well, I, th I might be best to ask that to a young person, but with that chicken box, it sounds like every black person likes chicken. And, um, you know, it's, it's a waste of money. That's my thought. You know, I could be wrong, but I think it's a waste of money. Do you think it's having any effect? Do you think it's in any way helping? They litter the street more with chicken box. That's the only thing it does. What do you think about the chicken box? Um, I don't really get the chicken box thing. I don't really get that. I don't do you think, think it's persuading any kids to stop carrying knives? No, it just seems, I don't know, it just seems a bit like, it just doesn't even, it seems a bit off to, to do it on like chicken boxes, like, do you know what I mean? Like they could do it on maybe like school, school food or something, but when it's on chicken boxes, it seems like they're kind of targeting like a certain, do you know what I mean? A certain group like, and like kind of being playing on the stereotype. So yeah, that's why I don't think really that knife free chicken box thing it should be used. To get chicken sh in chicken boxes in chicken shops, just to essentially get a hashtag knife free with like sort of black designed chicken boxes. So how would you feel about that? Do you think it would make any difference? Do you think maybe like it's the wrong I mean, idea or if it targets a sort of, like it, it comes off a bit funny? Yeah, it feels like a knee jerk reaction to um, you know, try and deal with some really deep-rooted problems. Why do you think knife crime has increased so much recently? The system are too soft. That's why knife crime has increased. And they don't want to lock up people because it costs too much money to keep them in prison. They give them uh, six months and they do three months and they come back out again and they stick the finger up to you. They stick the finger up to the police. So what um, the, the society doesn't want to know. Knife crime has increased. Yes. Yeah. has increased yeah. how do you think we should be policing that or or at least making new changes that could affect uh, more, police the positive? The, more police on the street police on the street. that's what's happened you can see it where is one i ain't seen one for a long time say to get knife crime down in the area would be to put more money into the community like for example when you go to places like north of the river like west london like the areas are really nice there's like there's like spaces for people to use like there's places for people to make music but around here it's kind of like there's like one like kind of like shitty like uh, youth centre. Do you know what I mean? They need more basketball courts, more skate parks, like more like just, I don't know, more areas for kids to, to like hang out in. Overall, generally speaking, do you, would you say Sadiq Khan's been successful in reducing crime, particularly, you know, knife crime being the obvious one? No, he's been really good at, um, you know, producing a flannel to bat it away and providing loads of rhetoric around it because it hasn't impacted the kids that I work with. Um, and we can see, you know, Peckham, a while back, I don't know whether you know, in the news it was speaking about it's a great place to live and so on, but the underbelly of Peckham, you wouldn't really want to come out at two and three o'clock at night. So no, 